welcome back to my YouTube channel and another stamping video. I'm excited because it's a new month and that means a new stamp set of the month. That's a stamp set that I pick because I love it. It's got cute images, sentiments, and a coordinating die set. So the stamp set of the month for the month of June is a Lawn Fawn stamp set called Rarsome. Rar, rarsome. Like a, like a dinosaur roar. I... I guess I don't really have an inner dinosaur, but they're so cute. And I love this stamp set for masculine cards or cards for boys. It's really cute. And in this month of June, we're often making cards for fathers. So that's my intention this month is to make some masculine cards and some for Father's Day. So be sure to check back every Monday because I'll have a new creation with this stamp set for you every Monday. Also, every Monday, I give away a card from the previous week's video. So if you watch last week's video, I was finishing up the month of May and using the floral print silhouette bundle by Concord and Ninth, which I love. And this card right here is the one that I'm giving away from that video. So if you left a comment on last week's video, your name got entered into a drawing and I randomly selected a name. And the lucky winner of this card is on the screen right now. Congratulations. I will be sending this card to you. Feel free to reach out to me so we can um, exchange information. I can get your address and make sure that you leave a comment on this video and you could win one of the projects I'm going to make today. Also, if you would like to take a virtual stamping class with me, the June Happy Stamping Box opened for registration this week. Registration closes on the 5th of June, so make sure if you're interested to click over to my blog and check out the post called the Happy Stamping Box, okay? It's lots of fun. I send you a kit in the mail. We make the cards together, and it's, it's a ton of fun. I love it. It's a little bit of my heart in a box. All right, so now I think it's time we go ahead and get stamping and make something cute with the Rarsome stamp set. I tried. We are starting today's card by stamping out some images. Now in today's card, yes, I'm using a dinosaur stamp set, but I'm not gonna use any of the dinosaur stamps. I love this stamp set because it has a sentiment in it that says, I lava you, which is, in one of my favorite Disney shorts or Pixar shorts. And I will put a link to it below in case you haven't seen it. It is so precious. And it's uh, like a legend about how the Hawaiian islands came to be, about these two volcanoes in love. It's the cutest thing. I love it. So, of course, the first card I wanted to make had to be two volcanoes in love. So that's what I'm stamping here today. Now this image I'm stamping right here is a solid image that we're stamping on the inside of that tiny little flower with sunflower ink from Lawn Fawn. Now I'm going to be coloring in my volcano with Copic markers. I have them on the screen for you. I'm starting with the lightest color and I'm just coloring it from the outside in and using a circular motion as I color. I wanted um, the center of the volcano to be really light because I wanted to stamp each of them with a little face. So you can see I left a white spot there. I will go back and cover that up, but even if you color over Copic marker with the same color, you're gonna darken that color a little bit. So that's why I left a light uh, white spot so that even when I color over it with the lightest color, I'll still have a spot that's a little lighter. It's like the empty space is like my fourth color. So there I did the medium and you can see it didn't go all the way in and then I'll do the dark marker and just hitting the edges where I want it to be the darkest. And then I'm gonna work my way backwards and color over that, blending it out with my medium color. So that's going to soften out the edge a little bit and just start to really blend these colors together. I'll go all the way around again using a circular motion and drawing that out a little bit and then I'll go over my lightest with my lightest color and bring that all the way in to the center even coloring over my white. 
and there you can see it really fades in and I have a really good spot I can stamp my little face. Okay, so now for the lava, I'm using some YR markers, that's yellow red, and then a little bit of red to finish it off. I'm coloring the lava the same exact way I did the volcano, lightest to dark, leaving a little white center, and then going back and blending that out with the medium and then the light. And I just like the really orange, bright orange lava with the hint of red in it. So then I'm bringing in that red and just getting the edges and I'm not bringing that too far in. I'll blend it out with the medium marker, which is can, I can't even say this word, cadmium, I'm pretty sure, cadmium orange. And my red is cadmium red. So I felt like those would go together really well, right? So now I'm blending that finely out with the lightest marker. And then I'm going to stamp a little face right on the volcano. Uh, I decided to do the winking eye face on this one. And then off camera I'm going to finish coloring up the rest of these images and I'll go ahead and die cut those all out with the coordinating dies. And look how cute they are! Love them! We're going to set those aside and we're going to work on the blended background. So I have a strip here of purple tape. I stuck it to my pants to make it a little less tacky. I'm just going to freehand cut a hill. This is going to be the island that these two volcanoes are perched upon. So I'm going to save that piece I cut away and stick down this piece and bring in some Distress Oxide ink to make my sky. I'm going to start with tumbled glass and I'm going to start with my sponge off the paper and then blend on to the paper. This is some whipped cream cardstock from Fun Stamper's Journey that I'm blending the ink onto. And then I'm going to come in with the, I forgot the name of it, Sea Ocean. Yeah, I'm blending that. Um, down from the top and then I'll bring back in the tumbled glass so that salty ocean there we go so that I can blend the two back together and then I did realize the top didn't look blended very nice like it didn't it's a little I'm gonna say messy so I thought I would bring some more of that salty ocean in to just to soften it up a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with a little bit of water from my distress sprayer or a lot and then dab that off and you'll see when I do the bottom of this that I also sprayed it and I really should have just waited and sprayed all of it at once instead of spraying it twice but you know whatever works when you're in the creative mode you just create and spraying distress oxide ink is super fun it's my favorite so I can't help myself as soon as I blend it I gotta do it so I'm sticking that negative piece back on. Obviously, it's very tiny. So I'm going to use some post-it notes just to cover up that top half and get myself some masking paper. I didn't have that today, but I really wanted to make this scene. So I just made it work with what I had, which, you know, you can do too. And then you realize, yeah, I got to get me some of that masking paper. All right, so now I'm just um, using some browns to blend a little island for my cute little volcanoes and then I'm going to darken up the top with some ground espresso that was tea dye ink that I started with and I dabbed this off because I really wasn't going to start off the glass so I just made sure and kind of dabbed it off so I didn't get a harsh circle right when I first started blending and again I'm going to do my dark and then come back with my light to really blend those two together it's really helpful in blending these inks if you can go back and forth a little bit and that helps with the soft blend. So now I will go ahead and spray this one as well and get some of those watermarks on it. I just love the look of that and it, I think it helps with the texture and dimension of the kind of sand or dirt look of this island. And we'll dab that off with a dry rag 
and also use it to clean off my glass mat. And then we will have a cute little island for our volcanoes. I'm gonna die cut the center of my card front with this modern day die set from Fun Stamper's Journey. And then once that oval is removed, I'm gonna emboss this piece with the Fiddle Leaf Embossing Folder. It's a really cool kind of tropical leaf look. And I wanted to show you how I emboss this using my Platinum 6 machine. I put down the rubber mat, my embossing folder with my paper in it, and then the cut plate and run that through. And I just found that's the best way. It's not the way that it shows it on the plate, the platform, and so I just wanted to show you how I do it. So there you can see our oval. That's gonna be our window to look in upon our scene. Now, if you do not have a wave die, you can use a scallop die when you die cut this, you're not gonna use the part that has the scallops, you're gonna use the part you normally get rid of. So save that for something else, and then there we have some waves. This is Pool Play cardstock by Fun Stamper's Journey, and I'm going to give it some dark blue on the top of the waves with that salty ocean ink again, and blend that so it has just a soft finish. And then that's gonna go behind the frame. I'm just gonna glue it right to the back of the frame. So it doesn't even really matter that my little wave piece is slightly crooked <laughs> because I'm gluing it behind here. So I can make the necessary adjustments so that it is straight. And it's just super cute. Little, um, makes it a little dimensional, a little 3D. All right, so this is going to be popped up onto my little island background there with some foam tape. And I just thought I would get it set up so I can lay my images in there and figure out how I want to glue it all together. This background is going to go onto a four and a fourth by 11 piece of cardstock that is lemongrass. And then I scored it at five and a half, so this card opens on the side. Kind of fun. And then uh, we'll go ahead and lay our volcanoes in there and kind of arrange things so that I know where to glue it down. I just like to arrange them before I adhere them so I know when I do stick everything together, it's going to work, it's going to fit, and all of that. So I've got my little um, splashes of volcano, my little hearts, and I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna try to leave those there and lift up one piece at a time and glue them down with liquid glue. Pressing them into place. I liked um, just having them glued flat instead of popped up because that top frame is popped up and I feel like it, your eye can be drawn in that way from that popped up frame. And there's our cute little scene. And I did not want to forget that tiny baby flower that I stamped. I'm going to put that on one of the volcanoes. Little, you know, flower in the hair like they do in Hawaii. Perfect. All right, so now we can go ahead and... Oh, no, before I stick the frame down, I felt like I needed to create more of a sandy look. And so I just brought in my two darker Copic markers and did some dots right along the bottom of the volcanoes to give it a little bit more of a sandy look. And I loved how that turned out. So now we can go ahead and stick down the frame that we've got our scene all set up. So just remove those backings and then press that into place, making sure you have a border all the way around. So that um, top layer, my card front, is some uh, limeade splash cardstock, and then the darker is the lemongrass, and I just love that two-tone look. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp a sentiment. Um, the of course I love a you on this orange cardstock with the same black ink that I used for my Copic coloring because it was the one sitting there and it worked out just fine. So it's the Jet Black Ink by Lon Fun. I'm going to cut this at an angle and then glue that onto the bottom right corner of the card for a cute little sentiment. And then I wanted to dress this card up a little bit, giving it a little bit more of a tropical flair. So I'm bringing back some dies from that modern frame set 
die cutting the leaves on that same um, lemongrass cardstock. And I die cut three of these little flowers and I'm going to layer them up, offsetting them each time. And that will give it a really full flower look. And as I squeeze that together in the center so that the glue dries, I'm just going to ruffle up the edges of that flower, giving it a little dimension. And then we'll let that set while we glue down the leaves. And I'm just going to curve these around that frame a little bit so they kind of hug it and go in the, the direction the frame goes. And that center of those leaves, the, the branch part, so to speak, is thin, so it's super easy to curve these. I love that about this die set. So we'll glue on the second one, and I'm just making sure I don't put glue on the leaves that overhang. I didn't need that, I didn't want it to cause a mess, so I was just making sure there. Press those into place, and then that flower will get glued right where those leaves meet up. Now press that in, and then I wanted to embellish this a little bit, so I'm bringing in my favorite embellishments, all the things. They're called all the things. And it does have like color for everything. But this first little um, rhinestone that I picked up, the glue dot did not want to come with it. So I just had to pull out my own glue dot and put one on there. But all of the pieces in this set do have glue dots on the back. But you know, sometimes things just don't go the way you planned. So that was not the the one I wanted, so I had to pick a different one here. Yeah, I want the smaller orange one. And we'll just put a couple of these down by the sentiment. And that finishes up today's card. Thank you so much for stopping by for part one of my June stamp set of the month featuring the Rarsome stamp set. Maybe next week there'll be some dinosaurs. Thank you so much, and I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you comment, you could win this card. I'll announce the winner on next week's video. Happy stamping!